hair and today we're doing something a whole lot different. Today we're doing kind of like a get ready with me podcast edition. I asked you guys what are some things you want to see for our Thursday videos and for some weird reason a lot of people responded they want to see my makeup routine, my morning routine, just getting ready. So I figure I'm here recording the podcast in Orlando anyways, why not just film it? Just a little secret, the only difference between me getting ready for a normal day and a podcast thing is I actually take the time to put on fake lashes. That's it. But to be honest, I don't even know why y'all want to see this. Like, I, I'm not a makeup artist, I, I barely know what all the brushes do, I don't have extensive products, so... But you do, and that's the point, so I guess we're gonna do it? Before we get started, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, hit the little bell down at the bottom so that you can be noticed of whatever I post next. Who knows what you guys are going to ask for next week. And without further ado, let's get ready with me. First things first, let's put our hair up. I know most people use those little clippy thingies. I'll be honest, I don't even know what to search for to find them on Amazon. So it is what it is. I did already wash my face um, and I used like this sometimes I'll use like a non greedy Neutrogena soap. Sometimes I use CeraVe. CeraVe is bay, like let me tell you. But this is just what I remembered to pack in my suitcase this time. I also kind of religiously wash my hands when I touch my face when I get ready in the morning because when I was in middle school and even like parts of high school, I had really bad acne and I'm always like very stressed out. I will not like touch my face without washing my hands first. It's just maybe I'm weird, I don't know. Okay, so after washing my face, first thing I do is I use this vitamin C serum. Am I 100% sure on why it's good to use vitamin C serum? No, but people on TikTok told me to do it. And this one was rated really high on Amazon. So that's, that's the one I use. And I'm just being blatantly honest with you guys. Half the stuff I put on my face, I do because like TikTok told me to. And I will do my best. Not that any of you guys would ever view me as an expert. I am not. But I will try to list like anything that I have, like the tag, the products, because like who knows? Maybe, maybe some of the products I use are not bad. Like I like this. I like this, the True Skin Vitamin C Facial Serum. I use it in the morning, and I'm told, but again, by TikTok, that whenever you use vitamin C serum, you also like have to use like SPF. Important. You should always use SPF. Okay, so for my morning moisturizer and SPF, I use CeraVe, because I love CeraVe, and it has SPF 30. Now, is this enough SPF to wear during the day? I don't know, so if it's not, someone please let me know because there's another morning CeraVe moisturizer that has SPF. It's like in a very similar bottle to this one. Um, this is what I use at night. Um, but it says AM instead of PM, but I don't like that one because it doesn't blend into my skin very well. And it looks like pretty streaky. Sometimes I feel like I need to use a little extra, but it's okay. You can never have too much SPF because your skin is important. I also use like an under eye cream. I don't really know why, but TikTok says it's important. I'm guessing it's to keep it hydrated. Again, I use CeraVe. The bottle's like really dirty because my makeup bag does need to be cleaned. But you know, it, it still works. So one time I went to Sephora. And uh, I don't usually go to Sephora because I don't get my makeup from Sephora. But I asked them, I said, hey, I'm looking for under eye cream. And they're like, okay, what for? And I just looked at them and I was like, um, they're like, is it for puffiness? Is it for dark circles? And I just looked at them and I was like, TikTok told me it was important to use under eye cream. So I'm looking for an under eye cream. And they just giggled and I was like, you know what? Screw this, I'm going. A CeraVe, it just never lets me down. I told y'all, like, I don't know what I'm doing and I'm not ashamed about it. You can laugh at me, you can giggle, like, I don't care. It's fine. I'm married. Who am I impressing anyways? <laughs> okay, last thing of prep is I do primer on my eyes for my eyeshadow, like eyeshadow primer, mostly because Michaela tells me I have to. Do I use anything expensive? Absolutely not. This was like, what, $5? So, and it works, like, it works. 
what is it Revlon color stay eyeshadow primer it's like a cream color skin color and it works perfectly for me and it's five dollars so why would I get something else so for my eyeshadow I literally just use like a small little cover girl palette because again like I don't use anything fancy and do I own some fancy eyeshadow palettes do I know why they were gifted to me? No, I have a couple Anastasia palettes. I have a Marc Jacobs palette, but like I'm so afraid to use them for regular everyday use. They're like in my house for whenever I'm invited to go see the queen or something. Why would the queen of England ever want me to go visit her? I don't know, but you just never know. And you just gotta be prepared. I'm just so afraid that if I use them for a non-special occasion, like, I look dumb, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, okay, so I'm using like the regular little skin color color as like just setting it up, evening out the color of my eyes. Did I figure that out on my own? Absolutely not. Michaela told me that was important. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say Michaela, first of all, do you even make up? She's like one of the, I, I've started watching a few different makeup people on TikTok, mostly because when I made that video about needing a friend at the YouTube beauty event, I had a couple really nice YouTube, or TikTok makeup people reach out to me like, oh, be your friend, and I appreciate that. Love them. But Michaela is like the TikTok makeup person, and one day, one day she'll know I exist. Okay, so then for like my little crease, I do the like, not so dark brown color and the like medium dark brown color do i know what they're actually called no but like those two oh, i can't even see it those two those two yeah i'm sitting here like showing you down here didn't even realize that the camera just didn't <laughs> it's okay okay and i started doing that without even thinking okay so now i'm taking a little pinky you know, a little pinky color is it kind of shimmery a little bit but it doesn't really show up that way and I'm just putting them on my eyelid because I don't know what else I'm doing. We have an intruder! This is Miss Lily. She does her makeup so much better than me, guys. That's like an actual makeup tutorial you need to watch. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, so let me take the little like kind of shimmery brown one and we just do like little V things. Again, do I know why? No, but Michaela says to do it, so that's what we do. Lauren's leaving me to go eat breakfast because I take too long. Say bye, Lauren. Bye. <laughs> I'll be down eventually. <laughs> All right, eyeliner. Um, I bought this one because Lauren Woolley bought this one. Um, <laughs> it took me, not gonna lie, like it's a little felt tip and it, it did take me quite, I think I just went out of the camera, but that's okay, it's all right. Um, it took me a while to be able to like do it with how flimsy it is, but it's okay, we've learned. It's what? NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner. There we go, that's what it is. All right, is that perfect? Not at all, but it's okay. We're gonna do the other side. Well, you know what? That's as good as it's gonna get. Now you might be thinking, Rebecca, why don't you wing that ish and make it look better? Cause I don't know how to wing eyeliner. That is not a gift that the above have given to me. So moving on. Okay, I already told y'all, I don't like touching my face. It bothers me. So like I use a little brush. I don't do like foundation foundation. I just don't, I don't like the heaviness. I do like a BB cream. So Maybelline has like two different ones of these. There's like one with the pink writing and there's one with the blue writing. And the one with the pink has SPF in it and the one with the blue writing has salicylic acid. So like when I know I'm going outside or like in the summertime, I always get the pink one. And then in the winter time, I usually use more of the blue one. Now I'm white white. So like I had to wait for the, like this used to just come in light medium, medium, and then medium dark or something like that. I had to wait for them to come out with the light sheer tint because I'm like white, white. You wouldn't even know that half my family lives in the freaking desert across the globe. 
There is a photo of me as like a little kid though, sitting on top of my parents' refrigerator for whatever reason. And I'm like so tan. I've never seen myself that tan in my life. I'm gonna have to like find a photo of it and like show it to you guys or something, maybe on my community page. But holy moly, I have tried real hard, in, especially in my teenage years, to get that tan again. My parents must have just left me outside for 12 hours. I'm just kidding, they wouldn't like leave me outside, but we played outside a lot as kids, so you know, that makes sense. So I don't know if this is correct or not, but when I was in high school, someone told me that if you like let your foundation or baby cream or whatever it is that you use dry and then blot it, that it gets the excess off that would make you look oily. And I don't know if that's like a real thing or not, but I've been doing it ever since just in case it has some merit to it. So for wait a second for it to dry. We are officially late to breakfast with the podcast people, but that's okay because I stay late. I know some people really like like the dewy look. I do not. I would much rather like just matte. I don't like shine like at all is the part where you're gonna start laughing at me. And Lauren had to help me a lot with it, Lauren Woolley. So, concealer under the eyes. I was doing like big strokes and then yesterday, Lauren was showing me a makeup video and someone just did three dots and I'm like, oh, maybe I'm doing too much. So, oh, before I do, I, I have like the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and I'm like, wait, wait, so I got the latest one that they got. Dot, dot, dot. I mean, it makes sense that I would only need this much because it actually, you know what? I'm scared there's not gonna be enough, so we're just gonna. <sighs> yeah, that's good. I'm sure that's fine. Is it gonna be too much? Maybe, who knows? I have like this little brush. I know I just, like Lauren just got me to get a beauty blender. I have one, but at least for this, I want to like, I can always blend it out in a second. But I, for this at least, I like my little, What brushy brush. Okay, so then contouring things. I've never contoured until very recently when I just, I don't know, I figured I needed to look more put together on camera. So I was like, oh, that looks like something I should probably learn how to do. So this is what I've learned. Again, I'm probably doing it wrong. Just let me know, cause I'm still learning. What Lauren told me to do. Looks pretty even, yeah? And then you go down. And then And that's what you do. And you just go out like this. No, I'm just kidding. Then I take the first beauty blender I've ever had. I was using a brush to like blend all this out and Lauren was like, stop. I was like, okay. So Oh, that did work so much better than my brush. Like literally, this is the first time I'm using it is with you guys, so. Oh, that's so much easier than my brush. I should have gotten this thing a long time ago. Oh, I didn't even tell you. I, I have like the NYX Wonder Stick. That's the, we're not done using it yet. Hold up. Now we take this thingy, take the other side, lighter it is and whoop. under under whoop, that's not even at all am I messing this up properly again if I'm doing something like really wrong just let the girl know because I don't know what I'm doing You know, for the first time using my beauty blender, I am not mad at it, let me tell you. Okay, okay, focus for me, focus. We're late for breakfast. Then take a little brush. I have like 
I know this is an expensive thing. Mac, yeah, I got it at TJ Maxx. Hold on. Don't worry. I'm not just going out buying expensive makeup things. So, a little blush. Ding. Lauren told me last month at the podcast, I just need to put it right there. So that's where I'm putting it. And then I take some bronzer and just blend out my neck. Are you supposed to put it everywhere else that you put the contour stuff? So, okay, when it comes to powder, I'm still having trouble finding one that I like because one that I used, I used like a Becca Cosmetics one. I'm not gonna lie, I did start using the Becca Cosmetics one because I saw it at TJ Maxx and I was like, oh, Becca, that's me. And then I liked it a lot and then they went out of business. So, so then I went to Target and I found like this CoverGirl Clean Professional Powder and it's not my favorite, okay? It's not. Mostly because like when I first put it on, like it looks kind of cakey and then I like wear it for a little bit and it kind of like fades into my face, I guess, or that might not even be the right word, but like it's not my favorite. So if you have recommendations that aren't gonna break my wallet, because like, as you can see, I'm not a makeup person. I don't care enough about makeup to like spend a lot of money on it. Like, I can get the job done with Target products. And like, I know there are some people that are very passionate about makeup and like, that's fine. And I, that's, I love that for you. Like, that's great. But I, like, I'm not a makeup influencer. Like for me, as long as I don't look homeless, like I'm good to go. I do like comedy things. I just wanna make people laugh and like feel loved. Okay, so there's my powder. After I do powder, I do like my brow thing. I don't like doing it before cause like, I want my brow to be dark and stand out and I don't want light powder to get in that. So I have NYX Tinted Brow Mascara and I use, is there a shade on here? Espresso. Do I drink coffee? No. Do I need it? No. I'll get me some chai. I do love some chai. All right. There we go, eyebrows done. Okay, I'm gonna show you this and you're gonna be like, what is that? This is an eyelash curler. I know, it's a plastic one, like the metal ones, I don't like that much. My mom found this. It's like little, it's easy to keep in my bag. There's no like metal, anything that my eyelashes can get stuck in. Now like, I will say one of my favorite physical features about myself is my eyelashes. They're just like, they're naturally very long and I like that. Um, so I don't often do like fake lashes. But for like podcast stuff and when I know that there's gonna be like photos and things like that, like when I go to conferences and present or like doing podcast things and there's a big camera in my face, I'll do fake lashes. So. I don't know where my mom got this. I'll find it and I'll try to link it. Yeah. I have a few different glues because a lot of times I will go somewhere and my lash will fall off and I'll have to find a drugstore and get more glue. So the one that I'm using today just says, Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. Ooh, with vitamins. Yay. Lauren Woolley gets very mad at me. Not actually mad, but uh, she always says, you have to cut them to fit your eye. I don't even know what that means. Okay, like, I don't even know what that means. So if they look bad, I'm very sorry. I don't know what that even means. Cut them to fit your eye. I like, I hear you and like, I get what that means, but at the same time, I don't get what that means. I don't know, even know how to do that. So we're just gonna hope they fit and we'll do mascara like after. I know a lot of people are like, what the heck, how are you putting on those lashes? Cause most people use like a tweezers or put it in the middle of their eye. I think we've already established, I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, um, also when it comes to lashes, I probably buy a different pack every time. Cause I don't know, I don't know what I like. <laughs> so like these are Ardale 3D Foam Ink. Yeah. But I have another pack like in my bag. So I didn't even know that I had this one left. 
and it's a completely different brand. I think it's Kiss. So, I don't know, what's your favorite lash? I'm gonna let that dry. I'm actually gonna brush my teeth off camera. So I have Maybelline Sky High Mascara. That is the one that I'm using. And then last but not least, I know again, it's another expense. I, Anastasia, I don't buy it for myself. Someone gave it to me. I usually do like a, like, there's some Vaseline or some like, um, I can't even think of what I'm thinking of, but like lip moisturizer kind of thing beforehand because they can be kind of drying and I don't like when my lips are dry. Just do. A little bit on there. What color is this? Haze liquid lipstick. And there we go. And I'm about ready to go. My hair's still a little wet from last night. That's how you know you didn't sleep long enough. But we are good to go. We are ready. And that is what I do to get ready in the morning. And again, like my regular routine is literally this, but like no lashes. And so that's what it is. Thank you for getting ready this morning with me. I hope your hair is all the way dry, meaning that you slept enough. I clearly did not. But if you have stuck around with me through the whole video, thanks, I love you very much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell down at the bottom and let me know what next Thursday's adventure is gonna be. We've gone to Target, we've done makeup together. Who knows what y'all are gonna come up with for me next week. So I love you guys so much. I'm gonna go get podcasting and I'll see you guys later. Bye my lovelies. Mwah.